I went up to the room and uh, Gabby was still asleep. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just like get out of here. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, shopping. Uh, there's like a shopping center that's pretty nearby. Extra shoes for the rain. All right, so because it's a little bit earlier in the morning, number one, there's a lot of leaf blowers going, but also uh, there's not many stores open. First place we're gonna be hitting up is Urban Outfitters because it's one of the few places that is actually open for business. I think have some good stuff right now for the fall time. A lot of jackets. It's a really nice color. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try these out. The closest I have is 20. Oh wow, these look really tight. One thing that Urban is really known for is their uh, rendition on like vintage tees. I don't know for me though, it's still pretty tough to put them on that same scale or call them a good alternative. This is kind of fire, dude. This is nice too. All right, let's see. All right, so we made our way back to the fitting room here. Outfit, we've got the Travis Scott Fragment Lows. Those Lululemons I was wearing earlier. Vintage tee, and then the old Essentials hoodie. I like this fabric a little bit more than the, the current stuff, if I'm honest. Okay, and so uh, this piece is actually pretty promising. Wow, like I'm actually surprised how much I like this one. Um, you guys may have uh, seen that I did get the Fear of God 7th Collection work jacket. And uh, the crop on this one is is similar. Um, this one is a bit on the lighter side, but I mean, given the price point, it's not bad. But generally lately I've been wearing kind of this type of collar shirt with like Dickies, kind of more preppy looking style mixed with a bit of streetwear. So I actually like the way this shirt fits. I think I'm gonna get it. And finally, here is that contrast hoodie. I don't know what they were thinking with these white drawstrings. They're like way too loud in my humble opinion. So. That's why I had them tucked in. Yeah, I feel like this is like a deal breaker. I don't know, it kind of makes it look tacky to me. Sweet, appreciate it, thank you so much. Have a good one. All right, so we have our first purchase of the day, of the trip, really. And as it turns out, there's a sneaker store in here called Prized Kicks. Uh, it looks like it's about a three minute walk. I think that might be a new store. I hope this is helpful for them. Let's see what they have, I hope they're open. Travis's. I think this is like the grail counter. Too small for gabs or else. A lot of you guys are like making fun of the fact that these are gonna end up on Palmart. Not today. Maybe someday, but not today. I really, really love the Lightning Fours, man. What are these? Never seen these before. I mean, it is a mid, but the color of these is really nice. Kind of reminds me of uh, an 85. All right, so just got done at Prized kicks. I'm heading back to the hotel because I'm pretty sure Gabby's ready to go. But uh, overall thoughts on that sort, really awesome. Insane inventory, I have to say. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back to the room. Uh, get dressed for the day and explore. I think we're gonna explore Dallas. All right, boo boo baby, it's been fun. I'm shopping off at your hotel here. McKinney. There it is. All right, so we just got here to the city of Dallas, and right away, Gabby and I were like talking in the car, and it does remind us of LA, except for one key component. It's really kept so well. It's like it's cleaner. very clean. So one of my favorite breakfasts is uh, Eggs Benedict. Gabby went old school with a traditional. Uh, good morning. I couldn't get on camera until after I ate my breakfast because I was grumpy. Anyways, we're out here in Chicago. Just kidding, we are in Dallas, Texas today. My I eyes are bigger on my tummy. That's definitely true. Paul and I both order way too much food wherever we go. Gotta work yeah. on that. I, uh, I tend to try to feed my eyes instead of my stomach. So right now we're gonna go to our, where are we going? First stop, <laughs> uh, <laughs> first stop of the day on our list is Vagabond Vintage. So we're going to Vagabond Vintage. Vagabond Vintage. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, really cool. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Cool. Oh, 
Full shot, man. Yeah, feel free to uh, pull whatever you think looks cool. So they have everything like set up by like theme. So here it's all music. And it's like fade heaven out here, dude. Yeah, this is actual real vintage. Yeah, this is, there's nothing like this back home. I mean, I guess there is in LA. Or what are you guys asking on the Rolling Stones? And 120. 120. Yeah. Oh, well, you got some stuff there. A bit. It's a nice fade. Good fit. Good that. Find. Oh, it's a little. I don't like that? that. It's uh, gross. bleach. It's pretty gross. No, oh, babe, that's a that's what gives it character. No, that's what gives it stain. Okay. It's like every car heart color you can think of. Over there, uh, there's a uh, there's all Harley over here. All right, so uh, here in the fitting room, got a couple t-shirts, just two. What an experience, what a sick store. It's really, really awesome in here. So here is that Huskies tee, Connecticut Huskies. I'm not gonna lie to you. I uh, know nothing about this school, but I just like the t-shirt. Cool font, nice text on there. Here's that Flag Rolling Stones tee. It's on a Brockham single stitch. There's the back hit there. Oh, what did you get? 27.06 is your total. Oh. All right, we're going to our second location. Gabby, what's it called again? Knowledge. <laughs> when we pulled up, she goes, oh, is that no Knowledge? Anyways, yeah, we're going to Knowledge. Uh, another recommended spot. A majority of the places that we went to is because of you guys. Actually, all of them. Knowledge. Uh, I like the brick, it's like. These are too much. That one is cool, I like this one. I know, huh? Do you guys have a six and a half for seven in these for her? What? I have cash for you, do you need it? Yeah, I need cash. Okay. Oh my God. I'm gonna be honest, it's really hard. It's probably ridiculous. I can't even do this, but like, I really wanna try. Like it's impossible to win if the payout's not ready. You, you, I said like, it has to be one yeah. in the middle. One in the middle, because really it hasn't paid out yet. It has to be one in the middle, that's what Paul says. He's usually right. How do I go that, that, up? that goes up, so you hold, so you hold it to go up, so hold it, and then you release it when you want it to go forward. So you have to line it up perfectly. See, that was a little ah! too low. It's okay. <laughs> no, let's do it again. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Rise. Jesus, please. No way. Is this about to happen? Ah! Yo, that wasn't even close. Babe, it is close. That's not even close. Okay, again, again, please, Lord. She wants another, she wants more money. What they did to me, bro. We go broke today. I'd rather just buy the shoes, dude. No, it's more fun. <laughs> to just win one, it. Just one, All right, here you one. go, you freaking addict. Okay. Line it up perfect. You want to release it perfectly when it lines up with that key. Nah, too low. <laughs> I think that I'm going to win. I just need probably like 20 more dollars in fives. And I think I could win. Who are you I mean, saying that to, to me? I'm saying it to you guys out there because I know you saw each time I got better. That's what it takes to Gabby's win. GoFundMe for Keymaster is going to be below. Yep, if you would like to, I mean, Invest. listen, I don't need these shoes. I don't even want these shoes. <laughs> I just want to win the game. So what if, what if a guy pulls up to, let's just say, the pool? Anywhere. What? Anyways, I have those. I know. They're ugly. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, how do you like these? How do you like those? These are the Kobe's. Hey, she and knows. And these are the Grinches. They were Kobe's basketball shoe. And there's only 300 pairs in the whole world. <laughs> what do you so. do? Just make up your own? I made it up. But guess what? It's some, something like that, you know? It's hey. something like that. Okay. And if you want these, you got to pay re re retail? Resale. <laughs> Resale. <laughs> All right, real quick. Shout out to the fam here at oh, Knowledge. You guys want to let them know what the store is all about? So here at Knowledge, we're all about the customer experience. Come on. You know, give you a good vibe, you know. And as you can see in the video, try to try to be helpful, try to be cool, you know, and just give the people what they want. And hopefully we got what you're looking for, man. Dude, appreciate yeah, you. For Thanks sure. for all the advice, man. No, for sure. Great store. Congratulations on appreciate all the success it, and many more years of blessing. Oh, no, for sure. Appreciate it, man. Paul just told me that it sounded like I wanted all of the socks, but I wasn't trying to sound like that. I was just trying to compliment how good quality the socks were all right let's replay trying, it and uh you guys let us know how that was I perceived trying to get all the socks which one which one which one, which one do you like? 
I like all of them. <laughs> Gabby really is trying to get them all <laughs> right out there. No, I did. Hey, did. welcome to my <laughs> world, bro. I really get this. Feels like Melrose to me. Kinda. Yeah. You're gonna ride the bowl, dude. I, I think I'm gonna do it too, actually. And that's the way to ease them too. Okay. How do you feel? I cannot believe you. You're so fun. I'm so Take nervous. Take off the Gucci. I'm so nervous. I've never done this, you guys. Welcome to my life. <laughs> I would say start at the bottom, baby. Don't drop in. How do you do that? Be careful, babe. Be careful. You gotta bend your knees. Bend your knees on your way back. Be very careful because you don't know when the board's gonna slip. Like that. <laughs> you wanna be very that careful. was just a demonstration. She didn't actually slip. Let me show you. Wait, 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 wait. Good job, Paul. Wow. These chucks are way too loose. Okay, Paul said the chucks are too loose, whatever that means. He hasn't done it in years. Come on, Paul, come on. Let her get comfortable. Yes, it practice. And remember, you're in those expensive ass shoes. I said you're in those expensive ass shoes. If you guys are in the area, pull up to the Point Skate Shop. I like this place. That's yeah, cool. Everywhere's really cool. You notice that? Everybody's like really nice. The Vintage Shore. <laughs> it's called Dated, Faded, and Worn. Oh, Dated, oh, Dated, Faded, and Worn Vintage Store. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hello. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. A hell of a collection. Selena, oh my gosh. This is where we want to be. This is such a sick store. It's Aaliyah. It's Aaliyah. It's in loving. I love this. This is so sweet. You want to get it? How much is this one? <laughs> she doesn't know. She doesn't know the vintage mark. I was yeah. waiting for a reaction. I mean, seven fifty. I was not expecting you to say that. Not. I mean, low end. I'll give like low. I'll give him five hundred for that one. This guy, five hundred for my shirt. For that one? Yeah. Oh. Do you, I'm going on the Ooh, I'm so Ooh. sorry about that. <laughs> Mary J. Oh, BSB. That's our generation, babe. Oh, oh that nice. Stone Cold is tough. I think you're going to get that one. I, I think that one's going to be very pricey. All right, Priv. I don't know if Priv is just nice? watching this, oh, but I don't so know, cute. Priv. I think you got some competition. The rose. Oh, me, me, me and Priya, we go, we go way back. Wow, you guys and he's such a fun here. guy, huh? Yeah, oh man, keeps, keeps, keeps the vibe. Which one do you want? Okay, so graphic-wise, I want bulls, but it doesn't look like it would fit well. So fit-wise, I, I want to run Selena. Selena looks like she's going to fit really well. That one looks like it will fit really well. And then also that Stone Cold tee. Here's Paul looking for his promised land. <laughs> his promised land? Or his uh, grail, that's what the whole Grail, hey, there you go. Okay, what's it's that? It's not a grail, but just an old NSYNC tee. NSYNC. Very nostalgic. How much is that one? Uh, 40? Watch Paul's dimple. It always comes out when he shops it. Whenever he's happy, his dimple comes out, guys. So let me point that out for you. Look at right there. It's on the right side, your, your left. Dude, she's like all up in my face right now. Yeah, so that little baby dimple that comes out when Paul's excited and he's shopping. Like this Rolling Stones? I see. Kind of brought them. It's so crazy because I got this t-shirt like so long ago for like 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. It goes for 200 now. Did you sell it? Yeah. <laughs> for 30 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, I love how Gabby just like makes fun of me on my own channel. Yeah. And then... What tea you got there? This is my new tea. Is that your grail? You know what? I really wanted the Aaliyah shirt, but we can't get that today, right, Paul? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, it, it we, maybe maybe later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Dated, faded, and worn. Shout out to the family here in Dallas. So we're here at Whataburger. And how could I have almost forgotten to try this place before I left? We just left church, the watermark. Oh my goodness, Thank not so only much. did they remind me to go to Whataburger. Man, their worship team, unbelievable. And actually Josh, the worship leader says it's better than In-N-Out, which I believe is blasphemous. Thank you. We're gonna have a little food review action here in the parking lot. In God we trust, amen, amen. hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's Whataburger review time. Oh, whoa. Ketchup, ketchup comes in a cup. Okay, okay, okay. okay. These fries, ketchup I can already cups. tell, they're gonna be better. Stop playing. Yeah. In and out, in and out. Yeah, yeah. french fries, baby. <laughs> to start out, they're not very warm. Kinda like Burger King. No, well, they taste like Wiener Schnitzel fries. They're not as salty as Burger King. They need a little bit of salt, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the, uh, these are definitely not fresh and I can tell these french fries were like the frozen kind These were frozen for sure in and out straight from potato Want to try the ranch? Let's try. It's homemade. Specialty sauces. I think it's homemade Mmm, buttermilk ranch is good there. Look Serving size. Uh, we didn't we didn't upgrade. We did not upgrade. This is a regular drink Like this is huge. This yeah. is probably like 40 ounces. Are right, you guys coming for fries or soda? You came here for the burger. Yeah, it it smells like Burger King. It looks like a Whopper. Burger King. It looks like a Whopper. Wait, ready? It's not that hot. It's not that hot. Okay, like that is weird too. In and out. It's is always fresh. Hot. It's very hot. Always fresh. I go first. It's not bad, but I don't see the hype, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, let's try. I like Burger King too. What do you think? Paul loves to eat. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the cheese is very high quality, very flavorful. I added bacon to mine, which I definitely feel like was the move. It adds like a little bit of saltiness. It's a bit more savory as well. I like the onions in it. I feel like these are fresh onions. The lettuce is soggy. The patty is not impressive. It doesn't stick out. And the bun, I don't know. Where's my fries? Not only is this not as good as In-N-Out, it's not even as good as McDonald's. Yeah, I said what I said, guys. Honestly, you have nobody else to blame but yourself. And why I say that is because that is the one place that literally everybody said you have to go here while in Texas. So going into that restaurant, I had like the loftiest of expectations. Like the standard was, was really high, especially considering the fact that, you know, people put it on that same tier as In-N-Out. Anyways, as you guys can see, we're back here in Orange County. And guys, honestly, I cannot say enough good things about Texas. But I think the one big characteristic that I and Gabby took away from Texas is that literally everywhere you went, people were so nice. Out in Texas, I can't even tell you, everywhere we went, people just wanted to spark a conversation and it was really, really pleasant. Anyways, we haven't exactly come to the final verdict yet. I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand where Gabby and I are at. Our families are here. We both grew up here. Gabby and I actually met in middle school. This is just home base for us. This is where our community is. Not to mention, the weather is amazing. So we're definitely gonna take this decision very seriously. We're gonna do it prayerfully. And of course, you guys will definitely be 
in the loop the next time we go to Texas. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this little mini series heading over to Texas. It was amazing. We're definitely going to be going back. All that said, as I'm everybody here at Lokes Wild Honey, I'm going to say peace and be blessed.